Alright guys, so I'm going to be going to the Ashura Esper. I'm also doing this live streaming at the same time, so for some of you that are tuned in on the stream, you, know, you see the process in action. Maybe this will be a, a winning kill. If this is a fail, there we go. But we're going to be doing all the missions for Ashura. The team is going to be Wilhelm. He's going to be passive provoking with high defense, um, some fire resist, and he's got a wind weapon for stealing the boss. And other than that, he's got some just fire resist and tankiness. Polka is going to be my healer. She does things like mana regen, stat immunity, break immunity. Uh, the boss doesn't break, but she does use stop. And Polka can give us stop immunity. Now, I gave her Terra's TMR, which gives her actual dual cast. Because she can only white dual cast naturally. Which means she can't use green magic. And I gave her... Carbuncle for the Dispel ability, she doesn't have naturally, and Barfyrega. It's green magic, and Folka cannot do that naturally, so you need to give her a regular source of dual cast. Uh, Maritime Strategist Nicole is just doing the usual things he does, like stat buffs, mitigation, etc. Also, resistance buffs to water, ice, and holy. And he's got Toxic Rain for the blind, which you need for later in the fight. And he's going to be doing things like ice and water for sealing the boss's elements. Bosch is going to be my evasion cover tank. He's also going to be doing breaks for the boss. And he's got full evasion, 100% uh, stone resist because he's on golem. And 30% fire, ice, water, and holy from Rainbow Road. And with Nicole's buffs, that brings him to 100% across the board. Sephiroth is going to be the DPS. He's going to be chaining Holy Weapon. He can also imbue Dark for the mission. He's got a lot of Human Killer, a lot of high defense, uh, Man Eater, and 30% fire resist on the whole team for the, uh, the boss's fire attacks. And the friend is Elmsmore Sephiroth, who is also perfectly geared for this. Uh, high Man Killer, 30% fire resist, a Holy Weapon, a lot of defense. This is going to be a real good friend for this. Alright, so the missions are deal ice, wind, water, and dark damage, three or more limits, and summon Fenrir and Anima. And you see we're on those espers. So let's get into it. Uh, the boss is going to ambush us, which is going to give a... She's going to buff herself with four turns of mitigation. So you can't really hurt her for the first few turns. So we're going to spend the first few turns just, you know, setting up, basically. All right. And I'll read this later with pause on the video. Alright, here we go. Oh, and the boss does buff herself on the ambush. I think she does attack in the magic buff. Maybe not. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look in a moment and see. All right, the enemy strikes first. Vicitudes of Dharma is, as you can see, four turns. We got that buff uh, timer patch today. So good. But four turns of mitigation, so we can't really hurt her right now. So Sephiroths are going to go ahead and reunion to give themselves a dark view for the mission. Also fills our limit gauge for later. Bosch is going to physical cover for the evasion. Wilhelm is going to break the boss's... Uh, attack. She doesn't use magic on turn one, so you only got to break the attack on turn one. Nicole is going to start filling the Esper Gauge for that mission with his cooldowns. And Polka is going to give us uh, break immunity and uh, stop immunity. So there we go. So we're going to be dodging some of the attacks. Some of them bypass dodge. You'll notice Wilhelm has... Uh, and then Peril in a damage over time effect on him now. Takes damage over time. So he's still going to take damage, but it's it's very minimal. The boss did buff herself, though. So we got to get rid of that. So we're going to dual cast with Folka. To dispel the boss. And uh, give ourselves fire resist. Alright, so the boss is dispelled. Now Bosch is going to break the boss with his 70 or 65% breaks. Alright, the Sephiroths are going to chain. This is not going to deal hardly any damage, but uh, it will give us some Lemon Crystals. Alright, 
So the first Esper is Anima. That mission is now done. And let's go ahead and do some resistance buffs for Bosch for later. Alright, Forsaken Stance. She casts Forsaken Stance, which means if we attack the boss, we're going to pretty much wipe. You cannot attack the boss when she uses Forsaken Stance. So, we're just going to basically pass our turn. Sephiroth's will reunion for um, the refresh there in view. Bosch will just refresh his cover. Wilhelm will guard. You can cast spells and stuff, you just can't attack the boss. So we'll do a mitigation buff and we'll do a spirit buff. Where's the spirit? And Folka will just refresh her... Um, which one gives stop immunity? This one does. So stop immunity and a teardrop for mana regen for Nicole. Alright, so because we didn't attack the boss, she's not going to attack us. Alright, so she buffed herself with Frozen Flame Stance. This is when you need to hit, you have to hit her with fire or ice to uh, fix this. So first of all, we're going to, um, I'm not going to bother dispelling the boss, her defense and spirit phrase, because I don't want to break the boss again. So Nicole is just going to hit the boss with ice and water. I'm doing both for the mission, but um, you only got to do it with ice. All right, and now we're going to... Uh, I'm going to use Supremacy because it's a, it's a stronger chain. And start stacking that up. All right. Bosh is going to Magical Cover because we're the, she's going to be doing uh, magic damage this turn. And we'll just provoke with Wilhelm for the mitigation. And... Let me refresh Fire Resist, and we'll do a re-raise on Bosch. She, but no, Bosch won't die here, because he's not in peril yet, but he's going to get in peril this turn. Alright, so there's the uh, the ice attack on Bosch, but he's immune. Uh, so the boss buffed herself, so we need to get rid of that. So, we're going to dual cast. Let's see. A dispel and a heal. Alright. Uh, Bosch is going to put up physical cover again. We're going to break the boss's attack. Because she's not going to use magic on the turn that she didn't use the magical stance. So we don't need to worry about magic. So we're going to Heaven's Wept for the Imperil. To get that back after. Because we have to dispel the boss. And Nicole will do Soulful and Mitigation. So now we're going to start dealing some actual damage to the boss. Our mitigation is now gone. Alright, Goddess Flame is the fire attack. At the end of her turn, she'll do something. Uh, okay, she didn't She didn't do a stance, so we're good. No stance here. So Sephiroth's going to swap to Supremacy for the, uh, the stronger chaining. Excellent, we almost got the Esper ready. I'm going to go ahead and do some good breaks with that. Folka will refresh the immunity buffs. We don't need any heals this turn. Nicole will uh, do resistances for Bosch. And Wilhelm's not much for him to do, so he'll just guard this turn. What is she going to do? Okay, the boss didn't do anything. That's fine. So there is a there is a there is a mission to do three limits. So let me go ahead and do those limits real quick before I forget. All right, we'll go ahead and chain these two, and we need to summon Fenrir, so we'll do that. And let's see here. I think it's time to refresh Fire Resist. So, Fire Resist and Re-Raise on Bosch. Like, this fight's not too bad if you do it properly, as you can see. Now, some of her attacks do bypass cover. Alright, so she did Face of Penitence and Frozen Flame Stance. Uh, Frozen Flame is, again, you gotta hit her with Ice or Fire. If you don't, 
uh, she'll be doing a lot of damage to you. Uh, so the boss, as you can see, these little blinking. See the one blinking? That means it's still active on my turn, but it's gonna wear off. On, it's gonna wear off soon. But for now, we're okay. So we're still gonna keep chaining with supremacy. Uh, Nicole needs to hit the boss with ice, and we'll just do water because why not? Uh, we need to magical cover on Bosch. Volka will. Let's see here. Uh, let's heal and re-raise on Bosch. Uh, the, we're just going to guard Wilhelm and we'll chain these two. Alright, so we're almost at 50%. Okay. Uh, what stance? She didn't do any stance at all. Okay. Uh, water and lightning stance. So you got to hit her with water or lightning. So, uh, I think Nicole's buffs are going to wear off soon, so I want to refresh that. So let me do this, and this. Yeah. Bosch will break the boss. Uh, so Folka can cast water. She's got dual cast. So Folka's going to do the water damage this turn. And we'll just refresh fire resist so it's ready. Let's go ahead and use Wilhelm's limit burst because I don't, I don't think I, don't, I think Bosch's resist buff has worn off at this point. So we need a Heaven's Wept for the Imperil again. All right, here's the water attack. Okay, so Bosch has still got a lot of resistance anyway, and the boss did Shadowed Radiance Stance, which is um. You need to hit her with light or dark damage. Now, of course, Sephiroths are chaining light and dark, so we're fine. So we're going to refresh magic cover. How are the boss's breaks looking? Uh, oh, we just did it with Bosch, so we're good on breaks. So Wilhelm will provoke. Uh, I think we need to do stop immunity. We haven't done that in a while. So stop immunity, and let's go ahead and do a magic resist. This is going to be a holy attack, so we're going to do a light resist. Actually, we're going to do both resistances with Nicole. And Sephiroth's will chain Supremacy, because the boss is already imperiled. Uh, okay, almost to the threshold. Alright, Electrified Aqua Stance. So we've got to hit the boss with water again. Let's go ahead and refresh the brakes on the boss. Uh, we'll do we'll do the water damage with Nicole this time, so I can do some mana regen with Folka. So let's do Serpent Guard and mana regen. All right, threshold time. So we're good. So this is gonna be a threshold, and I'll show I'll show it in a moment. So that that's gonna make her skip her turn. Fierce Goddess Stance. You have to blind the boss. She also did um. Mitigation for a turn, she's basically immune to damage for a turn, and she buffed herself. So, we are going to blind the, or dispel the boss and fire resist our team. So the boss is dispelled. Now we need to blind the boss. So we're going to, that was Toxic Rain, right? So we're going to Toxic Rain with Nicole to blind the boss. So because the boss is blinded, she will not use her super attack. Uh, I think Bosch needs to do a physical cover again, so Wilhelm will do the, the, the attack break. And we'll go ahead and use limits on Sephiroth to get a good, nice uh, break going on, or in peril. Alright, you'll see Stance, she Stance broke it, she didn't use her super attack. Oh, I didn't give Wilhelm Petrify immunity? Really? How did I forget that? Oh, uh, I forgot to get Petrified Immunity. That's not that's a problem. And I I wasn't buffing it with Folka. Um, it's not that much of a problem actually. Okay, well. Oh, we can use items. That's fine. 
All right. And I, I got distracted with Petrified Immunity, so I didn't see what stance she used. Uh, so I'm not going to attack her, because I, I totally missed what stance she used. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to refresh everything. Alright, Forsaken Stance. Okay, Forsaken Stance means you cannot attack the boss. Uh, so we'll just keep waiting until the boss decides to let us attack her. Uh, Folka will give Petrify immunity. So that don't happen again. And we'll give Wilhelm some mana. Uh, we'll go ahead and Iceberg and Duality Stance. Okay. Face of Carnage. Alright, now we can attack the boss again. Alright, so let's go ahead and bar by Rega and dispel the boss. Uh, let's put our breaks again. So because that happened, we actually lost our good in peril from Sephiroth Limiverse. We never even got to attack her with it. But that's fine. We'll just put up Heaven's Weft again for the uh, chaining. Let's go ahead and use Nicole's Limiverse for the nice... Um, Stat buff. And Wilhelm will provoke. Alright. And this is the reason I like two tanks. One with evasion, one with... Um, one for provoking. So as you can see, Bosch is covering all this damage with the boss uh, real nicely. So we'll go ahead and put that back up. And let's Supremacy again for the damage. Uh, Nicole will do Mitigation and Iceberg Stance. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do stop immunity and another mana regen. And we'll home with this guard. Okay. Uh, what stance is she going to use? She uses... No stance at all, so we can keep freely attacking. That's nice. Uh, so we've got two more turns will be in peril. Let's go ahead and refresh the breaks. Keep them refreshed. Go ahead and chain supremacy. Alright, 20% threshold. Here we go. So, uh, we're going to put up resistances. Wilhelm's going to provoke. Nicole is going to put up... There's, there's no more magical attacks in this phase, in this fight anymore. So, we're just going to mana regen. Because the boss is going to now buff herself, and we got to dispel that. Alright, Vengeful Stance. So the boss uh, buffed herself and gave herself permanent mitigation to um, for the rest of the fight. So we're going to go ahead and dual cast a Fire Resist and a Dispel. Now we're going to use Bosch's Bell of the New Dawn for the good break. Uh, Nicole is going to give us two turns, or three turns, of his good buffs. So now we're going for the kill. So we're going to Heaven's Wept for the Imperil. Alright. Now Wilhelm is going to die here. The boss does unresistible single target death, and it dispels you, so you can't uh, re-raise it either. So there's no, no point. But with your second cover tank, this is again the reason you want two tanks, is because we have a second tank, he still covers all the damage even though your primary tank is dead. Alright, so Folka is going to re uh, raise Wilhelm. Let's see, full life. And we're going to uh, fire resist him again. Bosch is going to put up Dawn Guard for the cover again. Now the whole team has a damage over time effect. You'll notice down here, uh, takes damage every single turn. That mean, that's a 
defense-based damage over time. That's why you want your whole team high on defense. And we're also going to give a healing over time effect with CG Nicole to help counteract that um, that damage over time. So we've still got a few turns of the break. So that's Supremacy. And you'll notice the boss is more tanky now because she's got that permanent mitigation. But she's taking less damage. But I mean, we're going we're gonna to get her soon. Alright, so you saw that you saw that damage over time. It dealt a lot of damage, but the, the, the Nicole's regen healed us back up. And if you're bringing units with really low defense, like let's say a 200 defense healer, they're going to be taking a whole lot of damage from that damage over time. Uh, so let's confirm. So we've dealt ice, water, wind, dark damage, yes. We've done three or more limits and we revoked the effort. So we got all the missions. So this might be the win here. It is. There we go. So the fight, not too bad. It's very controllable if you do it properly. You have to just properly react react to those stances. If we had messed up one of those stances, the boss would have um, done some super powerful attacks that you can't cover. And Esper Asura adjourned the party. Uh, and that dodge she puts up, the damage over time, is not dispellable. Nothing removes it unless that unit dies. And then, of course, you'll lose it that way, but you don't want that. But there you go. And let's confirm that we got all the missions. I'm sure we did. Uh, that, that, that materia, I think it's called War Goddesses something or other, is, the, is really good. It's 30% attack power and 30% damage with limit burst. Super, super nice um, materia. There we go. Got our Esper, got our Lapis, and our missions. Pretty sure we got them all. Got them all. All right. So there it is, and I will see you guys for the next content.